Hey friends! And today we're going to talk about Camp NaNoWriMo and what my project is and what I'm doing and what my goal is and all of the things Camp NaNoWriMo. <laughs> And if you've been here before, you know that Camp Nano is not my jam. It's not my favorite thing. Uh, NaNoWriMo for sure is not my thing. It's funny because I host a write a thon that revolves around being before a Nano month. Like, I get it. But I hate hustle culture. I have a whole video about it. I'll link it down below. My goal for camp is going to be 25,000 words because I think that's an attainable goal for me. It'll probably be more like 20. But I wanted to stretch my goal to 25. I wanted to make a stretch goal. It'll probably be closer to 20, but 25 is doable. That's my goal. I have like a billion books I want to read this month too, so who knows what's gonna happen. There's a readathon I want to do. There's, I mean, it's it's a busy month, so who knows? But that's my goal, 25k. Okay, so what is my project? I will be working on Emma, which is my French Grim Reaper story. I haven't worked on it since 2019. I did go through and find all of my notes and my zero draft and my note cards, uh, my plotting note cards. I have a whole bunch of things over there. I might even have done my plotting note card video might be on this book. If it is, I'll link it down below. I'll link it down below regardless. Either way, in case you want to know what plotting note cards are, it's down there. So this book revolves around Emma, who I believe I have aged her up. So I think she's 16 going to be 17 when the book starts. Either way, the book starts out, Emma has known her entire life that she will die on the eve of her 17th birthday. So her family has been cursed that the first born daughter into their family line would be cursed with death at her 17th birthday and there is like this backstory about it and she doesn't really know everything because her grandparents generation um kind of split apart you know one side of the family wholly believed it and the other side of the family was like you're ridiculous but it's been all men for hundreds of years and she's the first girl born in a few hundred years so it's her she's this preppy happy bright, bubbly cheerleader. She, you know, it has a good core group of friends. She has a boyfriend she's happy with. Her parents are a little more lenient with her than what most people's parents are going to be, but they're like, they believe that she's going to die when she turns 17. So they're allowing her to live her life a little because they, you know, they expect her not to make it very long. We begin in a classroom with some of her friends. Someone enters the room. They look very much like Emma. Her name is Hannah. She is our antagonist and a doppelganger because yes, this is also a doppelganger story, which is interesting to me. I've always been interested in doppelgangers. Um, very early on, I was mistaken for people a lot, which was really weird to me. But like in my middle school years, so like ages 12 to 16, I wasn't in middle school at 16, but you know what I mean? Like ages 12 to 16 ish, I was mistaken a lot for other people. Um, so doppelgangers was something that I've always been really interested in and I knew I wanted to write a doppelganger story one day and I liked the idea of this French Grim Reaper who is vaguely different from a regular Grim Reaper. That's why it's a French Grim Reaper story. The French Grim Reaper has a different name than the Grim Reaper but it's French so it's easier for me to just say French Grim Reaper. All of those things. And it was important to me to write someone very much outside of my own experience. Um, I was not a bright, preppy, happy cheerleader with a lot of friends and a boyfriend in high school. So um, I'm definitely writing someone outside of my experience and outside of um, what I'm comfortable with and a diverse group of friends and just, you know, making it very interesting. Doppelganger rolls in and fucks up her whole world as doppelgangers tend to do. So. Uh, that's my project. That's my goal. I will give you guys an update maybe mid-month and let you know where I'm at. I will be doing live streams on the second and fourth Friday of the month, my typical Friday that I'll be doing at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. There will also be a pop-up sprint this Friday 
on the new Worldwide Write-A-Thon channel. Um, so I'll link that sprint down below. I'm filming this on Wednesday, so I can tell you that there's going to be a pop-up sprint on Friday because um, this video will probably go up tomorrow. That is all I have for today. Let me know in the comments below if you are doing nano, if you're doing camp nano, I guess I should say, and what your goals are. And let me know if you have a video talking about your goals or your projects. And I'll go check those out. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos a couple of times a week. If you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!